This is the Heimer Airs Rock camper van on a Fiat base, six meters in length and costs just under 60,000 euros in this condition. This vehicle has a tent in the roof, which you can see up there. And coming towards the back, it's got a width-wise bed, which has been put up to demonstrate the amount of space that you've got down here. At the back, you've got space here for outdoor equipment, such as deck chairs and tables, which is also on the other side. Also, under here, we've got storage uh, possibilities, drawers on the left and also on the right. And of course, in the kitchen, there are also drawers. The kitchen is the same as in every camper van. Uh, it's got two burners and a sink. The washroom, I think, has to be uh, one of the star points of this vehicle. It's, bear in mind, it's six meters in length. So uh, you, you can't really get a huge washroom in here. And I'm standing in here right now. Um, to my right, it's got this sliding door like that and you can see that although the toilet is in here there is space around it to actually get yourself washed by a, uh, here the, the the shower unit and here the sink will come out by pulling it up and then it'll drop down also storage behind the mirror coming up to the front here we've got the table which will fold over like that giving more space for access as well as a large bench seat facing forwards down here. This one here, as I said, is on the Fiat Ducato. This one here has got a six speed uh, gearbox. And in the bulwark, there's also a bit of space for storage as well. I know I usually don't really like it up there because I like to have be able to stand, but I do appreciate that when you try and get as much in a van as possible, there may not be enough space to do it in. Uh, if I sit down here in my favorite seat, I'll show you there's plenty of uh, electric points. That's not an electric point, nor is that, but there, there are several. And there's the fridge, which will also, if you're sort of drinking outside, uh, you can actually access it from outside as well. Uh, this is one of several camper vans that Emma has been producing for a number of years all named after geographical features such as the Grand Canyon and the Yellow Yellowstone National Park. Thanks for watching. I did that video in the three minutes. If you want a more detailed video, there'll be a link somewhere, possibly.